Have you heard about uh, ACT, acceptance and commitment therapy? Yes. So ACT has become very popular because it, it links force with quantum psychology. Right? So the, the idea is that that you, you accept that this, you accept the situation, the bad situation you are in. Right? You're not happy or you're depressed. If you're miserable, you accept the situation. But you need to, you feel, you feel lo lousy, you accept all that. Like, like mindful meditation teaches that. Right? But your job is to identify your core value, what you're valuing in life. Once you identify your core value, the next step is to commitment, a commitment action to pursue their value. Okay. You follow me so far? So the whole acceptance, commitment, therapy focus on value and action unit. Okay? You follow me so far? Mm -hmm. Does it pass the hit of the test? Yes or no? No. Uh -huh. no, that's it, right? You know, because the, the value could be killing all the Jews. My, my purpose is to kill all the Jews. Or my, my, my purpose is to kill all the people who do not agree with communism. So they don't pass the Hitler test, they don't pass the Mao Zedong test, they don't pass the selling test. Because I put, I put the core value, could be no value at all. The core value could be very destructive. Yeah. Here is my approach to the same thing. I say the pure, okay? The purpose has to be based on two things. The purpose has to be based on enduring values, human, human right values. Human right values. The purpose has to be based on the principle of Getting out of yourself, self transcendent. Right? So, in that sense, you are able to help a client to enlarge the purpose, to make sure the purpose is aligned with higher value and aligned with the principle of serving the common good, the higher purpose. Would that pass a particular test? With that? Yes. Yep. Yes, of course, right? Do no harm. And bring happiness to other people.